It was a perfect day for a launch on the Space Coast. SpaceX, alongside NASA, launched a crew of four people into orbit. All of them are now on their way to the International Space Station. The launch marking another success for SpaceX. It also spurred a whole lot of excitement for the people on the ground there. News 6's James Barvero was there for all the action. Crew 5 on its way to the International Space Station with NASA astronauts Nicole Mann and Josh Cassida, Japanese astronaut Koichi Wakata, and cosmonaut Anna Kikina. The Russian is the first cosmonaut flying on a U.S. spacecraft in 20 years, and Kikina is the Russian Space Agency's exchange for NASA astronaut Frank Rubio, and liftoff. who launched to the space station two weeks ago aboard a Russian rocket. Now we continue our cooperation. After Wednesday's launch, a retired cosmonaut addressing Russia's continuing partnership with NASA despite the continuing war with Ukraine. So I hope destruction uh, from what is going on the ground would be minimum because we are trying to focus on uh, scientific tasks, on engineering tasks, and the uh, crew will do what, what they're supposed to do. we got three rookies that are pretty happy to be floating in space right now. Nicole Mann becomes the first woman to command a crew dragon flight and also the first astronaut in space with Native American heritage. Mann, Cassida, Wakata, and Kikina will relieve the crew four astronauts who NASA says could come home in about a week. It's a great team effort. We're excited to continue to fly more and more uh, cosmonauts and Japanese astronauts and ESA and our U.S. astronauts on our program. The crew is expected to arrive at the space station late Thursday afternoon after their 29-hour flight. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. James, thank you. ClickOrlando.com is your home for everything space. You can watch the launch while you're there. Be sure to subscribe to our Covering the Space Coast and Beyond newsletter. Eric Von Anken brings you the biggest stories happening every Monday.